Hey folks, Jeremy Banfield, elk biologist with the Pennsylvania Game Commission. Just want to take a few minutes this morning and talk about uh, our Elk Smart program, what it means to be Elk Smart. Uh, in one sentence, it is trying to get people to recognize that they have a role in keeping Pennsylvania's elk population as wild as we can possibly keep it. The very first point of our Elk Smart program is give the animal space. So everybody has a bubble, right? Your personal space. Elk also have a bubble, it's just a little bit bigger. Uh, we suggest at least 100 yards, so when you're up here watching elk and viewing elk, try and keep at least 100 yards from the animal, right? Give them space so that they feel comfortable and secure, safer for them, also safer for you. Second part of our Elk Smart program is to not feed the animals. Whenever you feed wildlife and elk, um, it puts the animals nose to nose with each other, right? So it artificially congregates them. Um, all that does is spread infectious diseases. So by not feeding the animals, we can help prevent the spread of infectious diseases. It's also illegal or unlawful to feed elk and bear in the state of Pennsylvania. Number three is don't name elk. And um, this one always gets a few raised eyebrows. It's kind of hard to articulate. But in general, we're asking people not to name the animals because they're wild, right? We want to keep them wild. We name our pets. We become very attached to pets. Um, elk are not pets. This is a wild population. Uh, the second part of that is it's also, it's a hunted population, right? So every year we've got over 50,000 people that put in to take a Pennsylvania elk. Uh, obviously, if an animal gets a name and then later on it gets harvested, it just ends up creating needless conflict. Fourth and final point of our Elk Smart program is do your part. And that's the idea that collectively we have to work together to make this program a success, right? Everybody's got to do their piece in following those other three points that I already mentioned in order for this program to work. So please be Elk Smart and do what you can to keep Pennsylvania's elk population wild.